best friend sharing a wave. You think Sunny can do that? Oh yeah. yeah Maybe that. with you. Not the dog is that would be so much. The main thing is put that vest on and then look at the, the dog hanging ten, even backwards, catching a dog, catching a ball. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, good stuff. They see how's traffic. My name is Jay Tyler Landon. I live in Honolulu, Hawaii, and I love to surf with my dog. Dog surfing has been around since the 1930s. The earliest origins can be traced back to a film called On the Waves in Waikiki, where a surfer named Philip K. Auna was depicted riding a wooden surfboard with his dog, Terrier Nighthawk, on the nose. There are several competitions now, including the World Dog Surf Championships in Northern California, as well as the Going to the Dog Surfer competition in Waikiki. This is my lead surf dog, Phoenix. She is a chocolate lab with some pit bull. She's about 50 pounds. She loves to hang 10, and she'll pretty much go anywhere that a tennis ball goes. This is our favorite board to surf with. This is a 12-foot long board from Blue Planet Surf. It's called the Polynesian Nose Rider. It's 12 feet long, 26 and a half inches wide, and has 194 liters in flotation. This is a thermal molded board, which means it has a thermal molded shell. Uh, there is no, no stringer, and it's made of 15 kilogram per cubic meter EPS foam. Uh, this one has a full deck pad. The board does come with a deck pad about three quarters of the way. They do, Blue Planet does make boards that, uh, these boards that do not have a deck pad if you prefer wax. But for Phoenix, I needed the deck pad for extra grip. So if you're interested in getting into dog surfing, there's a few things that you need to know. One is dog safety. You wanna make sure that your dog is safe, feels comfortable, and enjoys being in the water. The best way that you can do that is to use a life jacket. Uh, this is a life jacket from Roughwear. This is the original life jacket that we used, Phoenix and I. And uh, we highly recommend that you get a life jacket for your dog. It just provides that extra familiarity, comfortability, and it relieves any of your anxiety knowing your dog is gonna be safe out in the water. So first thing is dog safety. The second thing is the board. The actual uh, material that you use to surf with is very important. I highly recommend a long board as well as a wide stable board and something that has good traction, good grip to keep your dog stable on the board because they have, they have nails, they don't have uh, flat palms like we do. So having the deck pad is advantageous for them to feel stable. Uh, a third thing is to go slow. Uh, remember, this is all about comfortability for your dog. So you want to bring things that will make them feel comfortable like, for instance, a tennis ball or uh, treats that are their favorite. You want to also start slow. You don't want to go straight into five to 10 foot waves with your dog. You want to start in the shoreline, playing gently with the small, tiny waves, and then maybe practicing some ocean fetch, uh, throwing the ball out into the water for your dog to retrieve, and then maybe moving on from there to a stand-up paddleboard or uh, a large surfboard to begin. Um, one of our favorite ways to transition from land to surfing is through stand-up paddleboarding. Uh, we do run a business called Sup Dog Hawaii. Uh, if you'd like to check that out, it's www.supdoghawaii.com where we teach people how to stand-up paddleboard with their dogs. I do believe that this is one of the best ways to transition your dog from a land dog to a surf dog because it bridges the gap and it provides that tons of buoyancy and extra flotation to feel comfortable and more water time is always a good thing for surf dogs. So let's talk a little bit about these boards here. We got the 12 -0 Tough Tech. Here's a brand new 12 -0 Tough Tech. This is uh, the bottom of it. You can see nice and glossy. This, this board has not touched the water yet. This is a backup just in case uh, something happens to the other board. Always got to have a backup in the quiver, right? And then here's another uh, fiberglass board that we used back in the day. Oops. Another fiberglass board we used back in the day. Uh, this is uh, Paula Crista. I believe this is a tandem board uh, with double stringer here, 11-0. Super fun, it did take some damage, some heat from all of our surfing. But again, we did put a deck pad on the nose for that extra stability. 
So dog surfing is a huge passion for me. It all started about two years ago when I started working for Blue Planet Surf. It was my first job in Hawaii. And because it was at a warehouse at the time, I was able to bring Phoenix with me to the shop. And that's when we started getting into the concept and the thought process of maybe we could surf together. So the Blue Planet had a bunch of these 12 0 Tough Techs lying around and it just so happened that over time this, came, this became our favorite board. I've had some of the best waves of my life on this board where we catch a wave from outside the break all the way into the shore. Some lifelong memories with dog surfing. So if you guys are interested in something like that, if you want to get your dog more familiar with the water, you want to come out and stand a paddleboard with us, or if you want to come out and try surfing, definitely reach out to us. You can check us out on Instagram, supdoghawaii.com. Uh, also, there's a card of mine at the shop at Blue Planet Surf. We would love to hear from you if you have any questions about what your dog is experiencing or any specifics that are going on. We'd be happy to hear and help with, with your adventure out in the water. We also do make a treat called the Beach Treat. It is designed to help dogs with their stomach. As you know, salt water can cause a little bit of disruption in dogs' stomachs because the salt, the salt density draws water out of the bloodstream. So we designed a, a treat called the Beach Treat to help uh, prevent, uh, not prevent because it's not a cure, but definitely help aid your dog's stomach in the process of salt water uh, cons consumption. So check that out, the Beach Treat. Uh, thanks so much for watching. This is Phoenix, Phoenix Hangs 10 from uh, the surf dog duo, Tyler and Phoenix. We thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys out on the water. Aloha. Ha ha ha!